Hi guys, I'm Vanya Bradway, WBFF Fitness Pro, and I'm here with the Critical Bench um, to answer a couple of questions. Um, I get people all the time ask me uh, how to lose fat and maintain uh, muscle. Nutrition is the key to change metabolism with the training, but make sure you start with your nutrition, like tracking your, your calories. You know, the first three days you track your calories, see how much you're eating, and then you will go back and see what's lacking, how much protein you're eating, you know, how much carbohydrates and, uh, and fats. And then from there, you can get a meal plan and then you start working on your, your nutrition program. Someone comes to nutrition um, and people come with these questions, I ask them like, okay, how much do you eat? Do you, have, do you know how many calories you at? They're like, oh, I have no idea, I just eat healthy. I was like, okay, eating healthy doesn't matter. I mean, it matters because it has to do with your, gonna help with your body composition, but I mean, healthy doesn't mean you're gonna look better if you don't know how much you eat. So you can eat a, you can eat a bunch of healthy foods, but it's still overeating. And what do you say, uh, make sure your protein you keep at least your body weight. Let's say I'm 150 pounds, usually. Um, I will have to eat at least 150. But myself, when, because I want to build muscle, I will eat more. So I usually I go around 180, for my body weight is 150. So it's just for you, for you to have an idea. And then the second thing is carbohydrates. The source of carbohydrates is really important why? Because it's going to affect how your body is going to read and use those carbohydrates. Let's say, uh, you see on the social media people saying like it doesn't matter what time you eat your carbohydrates and actually it matters because I experienced to have carbohydrates before I sleep in some points of my prep because I was working out too early. In this case, I'm going to use those carbohydrates 5 o'clock in the morning, the carbohydrates I eat the night before that you store in my muscles I can use as energy. But if you're not training in the morning, why do you need that energy just before you sleep? So that's, that may not make sense to me. Um, so let's say you, you work out like in the afternoon. You're gonna have that first meal, uh, fats and protein, and then the next meal you introduce a little bit of carbohydrates, and then your pre-workout meal, a little bit more carbs, and the after. The last other meals, you don't need them. So keep your protein and your fats for the other meals. Carbohydrates around your training. That's the best approach you can do. So you can use those carbs for energy. Which kind of carbohydrates are you gonna use? I use mostly complex carbohydrates because can sustain that energy through the day. So you don't have that insulin spike and then you crash, which make people like eat a, a a high carb meal they didn't want to go to sleep. That's what happens with the most of the time. So keeping like, you know, uh, your carbs, simple carbs for post-workout because your body needs to recover. And the other meals, complex carbohydrates, which can be sweet potatoes, oats, um, can be brown rice, uh, stuff like that. And uh, the simple carbs, I will use mostly rice. That works for me. That's not for everyone. Uh, and potatoes. That would be in some kind of fruit that you're gonna eat after my training. Um, fats, you can choose anything from healthy fats that you're gonna keep your your joints, um, make sure you like, you gotta make sure to protect your joints because the fat's gonna uh, decrease inflammation. So your body, when you train, you cause inflammation. So you, you, you need to recover and the fat's gonna help with that. Uh, help the inflammation in the brain as well because we cause inflammation the whole body when you train or from stress or from whatever happens. So make sure you keep your fats from good source so your body actually can use to benefit you. A lot of people go to the gym without intention. They go just to work out, but they go through motion. They don't have the intention. Let's say, what are you gonna get out from that session? 
that's a bit very important to just not go do whatever no plan so we walk into the gym you need to have a plan because for that workout you want to make sure the nutrition is right to sustain those workouts for energy and for recover so that's those two now all those together train wise what I want to stay lean or cut away and I want to keep my muscle I'm gonna keep the intensity high intensity in my training uh, enough intensity um, and um, the volume of the train as well how much you're gonna do for that session how much reps and sets for that muscle group other good tip is uh, you can train more often the big muscles so like legs I would train legs two times a week sometimes even three times depends what I'm trying to do so that's a good good one to go to um, big muscle group you can train more often so that volume of training is gonna help you to, to burn to increase the metabolism and then burn more calories and burn body fat the other two things that I would like to mention is like people think it's just nutrition and training is what you're gonna get you the body that you wanna you know you wanna look your body goals and it actually is not that only because you train, you eat, you gotta recover. If you're not sleeping enough, it's an issue because when you sleep, it's when you, your muscles repair, your hormones actually regulate, your hunger hormone regulates as you sleep. So that's one thing is really important, you sleep enough and the quality of your sleep. Um, the other thing comes together with the sleep is how your body handles stress. So you think about your own diet and your training, which is already stress. And then people when trying to lose weight, they're gonna do more cardio. This is more stress. On top of it, the life is stress. Okay. So all that stress, your body gonna read as a one stress, and your cortisol levels that is a hormone you're gonna increase. When the head, that hormone is too high for too long is when the metabolic change happens. So you're training to lose weight and you're on diet, you're not sleeping, you're not recovering. Uh, cortisol is here, it's super high. What happened, you're not gonna build muscle, which you're trying to keep muscle and build muscle, you're not gonna ha happen. You're not gonna lose any body fat. Your body gonna hold so much water. Happened to me a couple of times off season and through the prep, and I experienced myself the lack of sleep and the stress and not know how to manage that stress. And I could see my physique in just a couple of days. Imagine people that go on and on, on and on, one week not sleeping, one month not sleeping, and stress and they don't do anything about. And then they wonder why I'm on diet, I'm training every day, and I cannot lose anything I cannot lose a pound so it's one of the things like we have to think about is not just or training or nutrition is is a lifestyle so I hope that information help you uh, if you have more questions we'd be happy to answer you can comment below post your questions we'll be here for you um, we have a free gift to give you guys just click the pin comment below to get your free gift is a uh, is a guide for changing habits for those who have cravings so it's a really good um, information for you to have for free make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon